The young and pretty mom hawking pure water in Osho, the under hot sun, whose video went viral about two weeks ago. She had an interview with Punch, has shared lots of transformation, beautiful photos on her page. And this really has shown that money is good, but love of money is the root of all evil. And Ubi Franklin advised young men to learn from his mistake. Ubi Franklin has four children from four different women. And for a couple of days now, his baby mama Sandra Ehoa and his alleged girlfriend Adesua Reni have been having it hot hot on Instagram. Hi guys, you're watching M Chicky series. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you're new to this channel, well, thank you for clicking on this video. Make yourself comfortable as we get right into the gist. Also, hit that red subscribe button. That way you get our latest updates. So this amputee young mom who was duped by her husband. I think the husband duped her 500,000 Naira. That the video went viral. She had an interview with Punch about two weeks ago. When the video went viral, lots of Nigerians contributed money. About 14 million Naira, I guess. And Lagos State also intervened in her case. She is doing perfectly well. She's celebrating her 27th birthday. Check out this fine babe. She has really changed automatically automatically she's looking like another person altogether hmm money is good okay see her lovely picture see the way she has beautifully transformed the way she's looking now but the love of money is the root of all evils she shared lots of beautiful pictures online which made a lot of people talk and keep commenting and they've reacted about it a lot of people are advising her to save money instead of living the celebrity lifestyle because right now they've already brought her to spotlight and people are advising her to save her money if possible invest her money so that she will not go broke on the long run which i think is very good advice also and lots of people have been talking about this boy that to propose to her which i think she turned the offer down so people also kept talking about that same because she has got money now 40 mila so now a lot of people are on her matter a lot of people are trying to get involved with her and people are also advising her to be careful a lot of people might want to get involved with her and when the money finishes definitely those people will turn their back on her so i think the advice is totally in order because if you follow the story of ola jumoke the breast seller that ty below discovered during her street photo shoot with tini Timpere, they were doing a photo shoot and this lady was carrying bread on her head and before you knew it she was included in the portrait they made which made a lot of people to start looking for her and eventually they got her the picture went viral and they transformed her she became a model they changed her life but at the end of the day nobody hears about her the last time i heard about her was whether she was having problem with the husband or stuff like that so if this lady can actually save a lot of money and if invest more it will help her life so you can agree with me that you can't really recognize her without them telling you that it's the same mary daniel look at her crotch they've already designed that one it has turned to designer's crotch and this lady is coming from a very tough situation she is the only survivor in an accident and that was how she lost one of her limbs because they had this terrible accident in 2006 that she lost her parents she was the only one that survived eventually still living with her grandmother and along the line she eventually got entangled with this man that married her but this man never really liked her immediately he got that 500,000 from her the guy disappeared in the thing uh, leaving her to take care of their only child only daughter so now she's a single mother with a child to take care of people are concerned asking her to make sure she invests very well and not allow any man to take advantage of her now she's counting her money in millions 14 miller and a lot of people will be interested in her definitely people are advising her to think wisely invest wisely be smart about whatever she does because if you don't take care people will come all in the name of love to deceive her take advantage of her like her former husband after everything she'll be kicked out so i hope she'll be able to understand what people are saying to her and try as much as possible to invest her money from the look of things she's a hard-working lady so she's trying to invest her money so that she will not go broke and attract more investment more opportunities to herself without dimming her light so moving on for a couple of days now ubi franklin's baby mama sandra and his alleged girlfriend Adesu Warenu, they've been having it 
hot hot on instagram Ubi franklin is a father of four children from four different women and he's the founder of triple mg records made this known via his instagram page he's advising young people not to make the same mistake or to learn from his mistake he wrote dear young tigers rather than laugh at me today learn from my mistake one reason you are alive to read this is because god has kept me as a sacrificial lamp for you to learn from the mistake of a young man can make in life he wrote and he went on to advise young men not to condone any toxic behavior adding that when a woman is wrong she should be able to be called to order never condone any toxic behavior around you learn from this dear ladies feminism is not hate towards men if a woman is wrong call her bluff and keep it going this is the height of irresponsibility and demonic manipulation so there has been lots of buzzwords going on on instagram as regards ubi franklin baby mama sandra and uh, alleged girlfriend Renee. they've been going back and forth on instagram is changing words so if you can remember very well this is not the first time sandra is drank ubi she did that about two years ago 2019 and here we are again she is dragging him silly she started with the alleged girlfriend saying that the lady opened an account on instagram and used it to be throwing her children and because of that she came out to blast the lady and as if that one was not enough immediately we talked about taking care of his children the four of them this lady landed on his case that was she made a video she made it clear that he does not bring anything for the train of the children allegedly she also gave an instance of how she sent money to the baby mama in south africa and also narrated the incident of what transpired in dubai how she sponsored the trip of ubi to dubai allegedly so you guys should listen to her although i don't have all the clips you can go to her page on instagram to watch the rest of the video i just caught part of it you also hear from ubi anyone i've offended my last video right. i said a lot of things and i also want to apologize to renee um you will not be barren you are going to have a lot of children um that came from a place of anger um knowing that i'm a woman that support other women and that didn't really show who i really, I really am so with that i apologize i was married um, years ago and out of that marriage came about two beautiful daughters after that came Ariel. Um, I got divorced in 2017 and since then we've been co-parenting our kid. So in December 2017 I came to Nigeria and um, I found out a lot of things that were going on that I felt like um, I found out that he was lying to me and uh, a lot of a lot of things but fortunately um, I tried to get out of the whole situation and then I found I was pregnant and you all know the story back in 20, 2019 when the whole thing came out in the media about my pregnancy and everything and all the money you know he was owing me and some of the women that came out you know saying the same thing so moving forward I decided to um, take care of my daughter and also, I didn't want my daughter to grow up and uh, without her dad, you know, in the picture. And um, my other my other kids, their father um, is in their life, taking care of them, and we're co-parenting in a very good way. He has his, he has his life going on. Um, we co-parent. We make sure our kids are good, and that's it. And that's the same culture I was trying to bring over to Ubi. I don't know, maybe somewhere along the line, um, I don't know what he, you know, he's thinking or what he was thinking. Uh, and I see that uh, that wasn't working in co-parenting with him. This lady has decided to keep attacking at this war for no reason. She's not offended you. She doesn't know you. But for avoidance of doubt, I'll say this, please. If you want to attack somebody, come to me directly. Attack me. Leave out the third party. That's my friend. I have many friends. If you like, Sandra, listen to me. Ubi is talking to you. If you are watching me, if you like, do anything. Go to any length. I'll say no word to you anymore because I, I believe that time will do the judgment, not me. God in heaven sees the things that I, I will never carry my phone and start showing people. See, I contacted you. Stop letting people think that I contact you for anything 
sexual or relationship. Stop it. Stop it. Today. Basically, these two people, I think they have issues that are still lingering because I don't know how Sandra managed to know that the alleged girlfriend is using fake account to throw her children. I don't know. These are the things that uh, when you look deeper, when they say more things, you'll be able to find out. I think there are so many things that are going on they don't want to share with people. But the issue is that when they're giving piecemeal information, people will not be able to talk about this matter. And this is a family issue. Whether they're together or they're no longer together, there are children involved. So he should find a way to resolve it off social media. And he finds a way to pay for the childcare support. Because at the end of the day, the children never begged him to bring them into this world. He made that decision with whoever he decided to do it. So, the earlier he takes care of his children, the better for him. Because there are contraceptives everywhere. If you don't want to bring in any child into the world, you make use of the contraceptive. There are condoms. Most Nigerian entertainers or musicians, they don't like using condoms. They have lots of children scattered all over with their baby mama who also want to grab whatever they can simply because they are on the spotlight. And so, if you want to live that kind of life, I believe that you also put solutions in place or put plans in place to be able to take care of the children if you feel you don't want to get married to the woman you want to keep the woman as a baby mama it is okay that's what you want i cannot change it but the best thing is that some of these women should also ask themselves questions what do they actually want do they want to be with the man or do they want a child or do they just want to be there for the fame for the momentary time the guy is in the spotlight so these are the questions women who are getting involved in this should ask themselves. And also for a man, those men that want to come with marriage so that they would be able to trap a woman, come straight out and tell the woman that you want her to be a baby mama. If it's okay by her, fine, two of you can get on with that so that nobody will be feeling pain that he promised marriage at the end of the day, he didn't come forth with it. Though I'm not saying that's the case with Ubi Franklin. I don't know what their problem is. I don't know what transpired between them. But I'm just saying, instead of you to deceive women saying that you married them, when you know it's baby mama you have in mind, come out straight and say it. Whoever that wants to be a baby mama will accept to that and you guys will rock on. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. For guys that have lots of baby mamas and also the responsibility of taking care of their responsibilities. So I'm gonna sign off here, stay healthy and safe. Remember to share the video with family and friends if you love it. And subscribe to the channel if you've not done already. And I'm gonna catch you guys in my next video. Bye and remain blessed.